A unique project, pop-up cafe with rules where one can be entertained, inspired, educated, offered new experience. It opens a new direction in the entertainment, catering and public events sector. The main rule of the project is to obey the rules. Each part ran for one month and received 6,000 happy guests where each of them had one and a half hours to enjoy the experience. The interior and scenography has been carefully chosen and adjusted depending on the season, surroundings and the particular concept. The menus are scattered in pieces and need to be assembled like a puzzle before ordering. Soups are enjoyed on snow white tablecloths, wine glasses are burned on a fire to heat them up and served as mulled wine. Sweet truffles were hidden in Christmas trees. The dessert was served wrapped as a present and the guests had to arrange them in the designed shape to make a cake. Waiters were also entertainers when serving guests. They were singing, dancing, reciting haiku. The spring part of this experience was arranged in the old greenhouse of the botanical garden. Our guests were welcomed with refreshing cocktails from green and blossoming pots and sparkling lemonade served on swings. The menu was in the form of a lotto board game. In the cafe, the visitors played a game with the edible blossoms of magnolia. They were croaking like frogs when having soup and planted their own mini garden of vegetables in edible soil. This all could happen only when following the rules that came with each meal. Autumn. The Café with Rules opens its doors in the Riga industrial block in a form of a pop-up art workshop. Each of the visitors takes part in creating a joint painting. The menu appears when a white sheet is painted over different colors. While waiting for the orders, guests have to guess paintings, thus which not only entertains them but also educates. Guests also dye a colorful soup, paint an edible Mark Rothko picture and make their own emotion desserts. Guests are pulled into different performances and painting on the live models. Thousands of visitors, hundreds of liters of paint, gastronomic surprises, wonders, the rich fruit of autumn and inspiration about everything else. The best advertising for the cafe was social media and people's mouth-to-mouth -mouth stories. The stories of amazed guests and people's flow considerably exceeded expectations of the event organizers. During the first week, the café was fully booked until the end of the season and the waiting list was very, very long. People in this city spoke, if you haven't visited that café with rules, you don't exist.